Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rapoor, for those kind words. A very good morning to you and all the people at Conceptual Orthopedic, as well as our bright new future of orthopedics, the new entrance to the field of orthopedics, and people who we are primarily addressing today's efforts at. Uh, I, will, I will be sharing my message to fresh orthopedic entrants in the next few minutes. And uh, I hope I can convey some points which they might find it useful during their next few years in the journey of orthopedics. Uh, let me start sharing the screen. How can, uh, where is it? Where is it? So hello, students. The fact that you have reached this far proves your credentials, your capabilities, and your qualifications, and your commitment to do a career in orthopedics. Congratulations on this achievement. You have come here after having done a very grueling course of MBBS and having worked hard at cracking the exams. And then at this, and then you have reached here. You have, you have enough capabilities in you already proven by what you have gone through to go ahead and get into the field of orthopedics. Your achievements so far have been, have been there to bring you here. It is your achievements and your work which has brought you at this stage. Welcome to the journey of orthopedics. The journey, anybody who is going on a journey, now your journey at least is five years when you are in a student mode. After that, you become consultant, teacher or whatever it is. For the next five years, anybody who's going on a journey or a voyage of five years in a ship or anywhere, he has to prepare well for the journey. There are many ways of doing the same thing, correct? I'm sure you will have many guidance. You will find your own ways. You have been brought up with you by your parents and your interactions with colleagues. You will find your own way. What I am sharing with you is just one of the ways which you may find useful. You may find something useful. You may find something more useful than in other things. So it is your, your, your take and what you can make out of what I am going to speak to you. So next five years, as I said, you are in a resident mode. Resident means that a junior residency, post-graduation, and then a senior residency. That is a special and a unique part of your life, which is not many professions have it in them like a medical profession has it. So this period of five years is special and unique. Special because it is a solid foundation and investment which, you will, which will stand by you and give you everything for the next three, four, or five decades or more. This is special because as I said, not many professions other than medical profession have this long a period which has a good point to it and some not too good points to it. But this is unique. That you have to agree. That this is a unique stage in your life which not many other professions or studies have in them. So you, this is where you will lay the foundation you may call it a lot of time is spent, but this is where your rest of the later part of the life, where you will still have a value, even when you are 75 or 80 years of old, it will be because what you have spent in these five years, this is your investment for the rest of your life. So make the best of it. This is unique also. As I said, this was special and unique also. This is unique because you are at a student stage. Once you become, complete your student stage, you become a consultant or a teaching professional or a faculty. You are no more a student, so nobody is going to teach you because at that stage, you become competitor in profession, competitor in position, 
competitor in, in, in earning and so many other fields. So student status will be over at five years. Till that time, you have the best opportunity to learn and people will feel happy to teach. Once you cease to be the student, nobody is going to be sharing too much because then you are a competitor. And the things will come at a lot of effort from your own experience also, which it is better if you get it from others' experience. So make the best use of your studentship till the time you remain. And this will be the solid foundation for rest of your life. I was told this by Professor Tuli that in the next three years, I was told at the beginning of registership, whatever I will skills I will learn, it will remain with me for the rest of my life. And that is so true. Even today, I am, I am able to call back on what I learned as a registrar, which is after the post graduation in our times. And it still find it useful and productive to me. So make the best use of this special and unique period in your life, which not many people get to do and make the best use of it. So be a student. Okay. So what does a student do? Be a student and observe and learn the dynamics you depart of the department you join. First, first some time, be observant to learn how the department moves. How do you get an investigation done? How do you ask for reference? How do you ask your senior? What is the right time to talk to your faculty? What is the right time to interact between your own colleagues? So this is what you learn and observe the dynamics of the department in the first few days that you join. You will learn how the hospital works how the radiology works, how the lab works. And those all things you must learn to be in a practical field of orthopedics. Settle down. First, try to see and learn how the working is rather than trying to say that what you have achieved. So be observant and learn the dynamics of the department and be settling down. You are a student and have the enthusiasm to learn from everything you see at workplace, everything from patients, investigations, radiology, reporting, how are things done? So have the enthusiasm because you will see a lot of new things. And for you, everything is new. For the people who are doing it, it may not be new, but for you, everything is new and having enthusiasm you will help you gain the information as well as it will spread to others that this person is enthusiastic and learning. So I must teach him enthusiastically. It is a give and take relationship with your teachers. If the teacher finds you enthusiastic and, 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 and dedicated, certainly what he will come out of him will be much more than what he may do it to an indifferent student. So maintain your enthusiasm. There is a lot of interesting things which you will come to see just maintain your interest. Have good quality textbooks for reference. You will learn a lot of things in labs, in, in clinical work, but having a text and a foundation of what the literature says from a textbook is important. It is important to have good quality standard textbooks, especially in the field of orthopedics like operative orthopedics, we used to use Campbell for fracture treatment. All those things we will share a little more. But you must have your own good quality textbook. Preferably have them in the print form or in the present day form if you are comfortable. Even the e-format is all right. But I still believe that a print format can be done usefully and can be more conveying to you. Journals are important. You must be aware of the journals, good journals in your field, which you should be seeing, but they need interpretation. Everything you need read in journal may not be always sacrosanct. Definitely it is published, but what is in the textbook is established. Knowing the journal 
keeps you keeps you aware of the newer development some of it may be good some may not be that good so it needs interpretation so you are reading the journal is useful have a healthy discussion on what you read in journal or book but don't show off what you have read in a journal or some very external knowledge it is important to have healthy discussion not only with your immediate senior resident or your colleagues share the knowledge when you share the knowledge you increase your own knowledge more knowledge is one wealth which you get and share but don't show off so if you have read something exciting in journal try to understand it try to interpret it and discuss it rather than trying to show it off so that is what a student is supposed to do he is supposed to be getting not giving too much but definitely you will get when you give also so when you share knowledge your knowledge will increase that is knowledge is the only wealth which increases by sharing all other wealths physical wealth will decrease by sharing but knowledge is one wealth which you must do discussion and